the government is back open. So now what? What does this mean for us and our personal finances? Today we're going to talk budgeting our money and what we're going to do now that the government is back open and I'll be getting three paychecks in one week. That means I'll be getting four paychecks in the whole month of February. Oh, the taxes that they are going to take out. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have paid off over $188,000. Actually, I think it's probably closer to 190 something now in 34 months. And we have saved up over $10,000 and gotten one full month ahead in our budget. So we are not here to tell you how to budget. We are here to normalize talking about personal finance and normalize budgeting, making it a common concept that people discuss. And so nobody gets uncomfortable when the topic of money comes up because I find it almost a taboo subject. So we are here to motivate you in whatever journey you are on with your personal finances, be it paying off debt, being it saving money. We are not here to tell you one particular way to manage your finances, but rather motivate you to continue down the path to do what you need to do. Last week, I continued talking about the budget shutdown as if it had not happened. And that's because I film a week out. So when I filmed those videos, the shutdown was not over. So understand if something comes down the pike now and the government is fully funded again and I can stop worrying about this, you won't see it on YouTube for a week. So as you well know, Mauricio and I are both government employees, me as a direct hire and Mauricio as a contractor. And during this whole shutdown crisis, I didn't get paid and Mauricio still did. And we managed fine through it. We never really worried about money. We talked a lot more about money, but we never really worried about it. And so now that it's over, what are we going to do? What I can tell you is the week leading up to them passing the temporary bill, everything in my office was a frenzy. People were truly beginning to panic because we were thinking it was going to go months and it, it got scary for a lot of people. And I'm actually hoping that that fear motivates some people to maybe save up some money and not continue living paycheck to paycheck because that's no way to live. Not knowing if you're going to have enough gas to get to work and no ability to put more gas in your car or talking about having to live off your credit cards or taking out a loan because there were banks offering 0% interest loans. That was an option for a lot of people, but I'm really hoping what has happened was kind of a shocker to people and it inspires them to go ahead and maybe pay off debt or start budgeting or start saving more money. Mauricio and I were never really worried because we're living on less than right around 50% of our income. And so we didn't really have to, if, if we had had to pay every single bill we still would have been able to do that. We just chose not to because we didn't know how long Mauricio's job was going to be funded for. So we went ahead and we started hoarding money. That's what I'm calling it because that's what I really feel like. Like every cent we had, I was like, oh, mine, 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 mine. I was like hoarding money. We had to return some stuff that we had bought at the end of December for Molina for ice skating camp that we didn't end up needing. So we went to return it and I was like, ooh, let's put that money in the savings account so we don't touch it. And it was really funny the way that I reacted to it, but it worked out really well. So we don't expect to get our back pay paychecks until around February, sometime between February 8th and 15th, because it does take a couple of weeks to process a paycheck. And I know they're going to be rushing to do it, but I'm not expecting it until somewhere around February 8th at the earliest. So what does this mean for us right now? Legitimately, how are we going to handle this? Well, I'll tell you, I don't think it's over. 
I really, really, really don't. And some people, you either swing, seem to swing one way or the other. So some people are thinking, oh no, they're politicians and they want to get voted back into office. So they're definitely not going to do that again. But I am leaning towards the, let's just start, you know, piling money aside just in case. So we have decided we're going to go ahead and stay in crisis mode. So on Thursday, Friday, Thursday, I, seriously, I, I never know when I'm going to put out a video. Um, it seems to change every week, but um, I'm going to be putting out a video with our new and improved budget, which will actually include all the stuff that we're going to pay because, you know, obviously the banks are going to want their money now that the government's open. And if it shuts down again, then I'm sure they'll give us the same grace that they gave us last time, but maybe they won't. So we are not going to be really operating on a zero based budget. So you'll see. It'll make sense to you when you see it. So I'm gonna be getting four. Hey, we just got the long we asked for. The money with the long we asked, uh, we took last week. <laughs> we did not take out a loan. <laughs> so I will be getting four paychecks in the month of February. And so what am I gonna do with that money? Am I going to immediately transfer it to debt? No. What we are going to do is we are going to treat it as if it were a normal month. So what I earn in one month goes to pay next month's bills. So we're going to take all four of my paychecks and two of Mauricio's paychecks, and we're going to put it in the savings account until March. And on March 1st, we will drop it in the checking account. And hopefully this will be all resolved by then. And we can just continue on our normal debt payment process. Process. And once this is all over, it's going to be pretty stinking awesome to write that big check to go and pay off the credit card because we were slated to pay off the credit card in March. And it looks like if this is all done, we should be able to still do that. And then some. so fingers crossed that by February 15th, this is all done over with and is but a memory and a good learning lesson for a lot of people. And if you are one of the people out there affected by this, I hope you are taking it to heart and being conservative with your money right now. And if you're not, take my learning lesson as your learning lesson and maybe imagine what you would do if you were in this situation. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.